Hey guys, Blackout Bill here. Uh, doing a little bit of a mix-up video today. I know normally it gets you some boat motors running, but I figured if you guys are into boat motors, you might be into some fishing. And because I'm the worst fisherman on the planet, maybe we'll learn something together. So, the goal was to test these motors out at Round Valley and, and uh, numerous bodies of water near my house. And I figured since I'll be out there, why don't I take a pole and throw it in the water and enjoy the day? Problem is, I'm so bad at fishing, it's getting frustrated. So I figured I would up my fishing game with some new gear because I used my father-in-law's gear, which he donated to me, and it's from the 70s, and it's a little outdated, and it's not proper for what I wanna do. So today, we're gonna unbox my new reel and uh, show you guys what I'm getting and explain a little bit of what I'm going for. Stay tuned. You might be saying to yourself, hey, Black Eye Bill, you're looking pretty skinny. It's because I'm also on the ketogenic diet. About two months now, I'm down about 20 pounds. Uh, it's not shown in the gut yet, but I'm hoping it gets there. So uh, if you guys want any tips or I can do videos on the ketogenic diet, you can comment below. The almost 300 of you awesome human beings uh, want to see keto stuff. That'd be kind of funny, but whatever. Today we have the casking reel. So to give you guys a little bit of uh, a background while I uh, unpackage the box, Brown Valley is my main source for fishing. Brown Valley carries trout, uh, bass, and some eels, and a couple cart, uh, catfish and stuff. You probably can't hear me over the wrapper. So, everybody can catch bass, everybody can catch everything else. Trout's finicky. So I guess maybe I'm an overachiever. I want trout. So my main goal is to catch trout. I have not caught a single fish at Rao Valley to this date, which is like three, three years going now. So what we have here is a Cast King Royal Legend. I've researched every reel out there. My budget was gonna be in the $100 range and there's a ton of YouTube videos on what reel is best under $100. But in researching, I found that this Cast King will probably do everything I want and more for the $40 price tag. Okay, now I went with a bait caster instead of a spinning reel. And those of you who know fishing probably are like, Bill, when you trout fish, you need an ultralight setup with a spinning rod usually, which is true. Round Valley is a 180 foot deep reservoir. So yes, there's shallow spots, but then there's deep spots. So I primarily are going to be going for the deep lake trout. Now the other problem is I normally fish in the summer and that may be difficult because lake trout in the summer, I don't know their, their, their feeding habits. And a lot of the tackle I bought is for winter trout. So. We're gonna get through that uh, as we go, but unboxing this uh, this Cast King, it is an awesome looking reel. Uh, it's really sharp with the black. It's got this like uh, shined silver. I wouldn't call it gunmetal, uh, but it, it looks like a glossy silver type metallic. Not metallic. It's not sparkly, but it's definitely gloss or chrome-ish. And then the black is is all sleek and shiny, and then the red trim. It's a really good looking setup. Uh, why I went with this Cast King is it had a seven to one, 7.0 ratio, gear ratio. Uh, what I wanted was a reel that had a lot of ball bearings. So most of the, the lower end reels have six or three or four. This is 11 plus one. So I'm assuming that's somewhere else in the, in the unit. And it's just, it's pretty. It looks really pretty. I have no idea how to use it. I've had one, I used one bait caster in my life. It was for fluke fishing with my uncle and he gave it to me. He was like, here, hold this, bounce the rod off the bottom and you'll catch fluke. It's super good looking. It's got a dual braking system as well. Uh, and it's got so many magnets in it that I can't even count. That's obviously the brake. I went with the bait caster because I plan on deep water trout jigging. So I bought some tackle also that's on the way that I can show you guys that will be for deep trout jigging. I also bought some winter jigs that should work in the summer. We will get some video of me fishing and see if uh, the YouTube research I've done is accurate and works or if I'm just spinning my reels. Other reels I've looked at are from, there's the President, uh, I forget who makes that, the, the Albu uh, reels. When you get this reel, it's, it's the reel, the box, some advertisement stuff, and the parts list, and then this this idiot guide to how to set it up. 
literally hitting a guy just 10 total steps. So, but it gives you, I guess, everything you need to know. And then you could either YouTube it or, or go uh, to the website. So, that's it. I mean, it's pretty. It is pretty. I'm not a fan of red. Uh, personal football preference issues. But it looks good with the black. It really does. The handle grips are like a soft, foamy type, but but stern. They're not they're not squishy. Uh, they feel really good. I also bought the left-handed reel because I'm not a I'm not an avid fisherman. I know most right-handers reel with their right hand, and but my left my left arm setup is just weak. So when I when I'm fishing, even if it's a weak trout, I'm gonna need my right arm to lift, and I can reel with my left hand. Okay, part two of the new gear setup. This here is my new fishing pole. Now, obviously I bought the Cast King bait caster. So I had to obviously pair that with a bait casting rod. This is what this is here. As I was describing, I'm going for trout. So I needed to find a, a, a balance because most people get super light action rods because they're fishing for trout in these local streams and these hat hatcheries and all, all kinds of shallow water stuff. I'm trying to jig deep trout. Uh, and basically the whole reservoir is deep. So most of my trout will be deep. So I went with a heavier rod because of the depth of the water. Uh, what I'll be putting on this rod line-wise will help me with the sensitivity being that it's a heavier heavier rod and they always say you're supposed to you know when you're doing with trout you really want to feel everything so they want you to do like ultra light setups but like i said for my application just not gonna work so okay so this is a, a total unboxing it's brand new out of the packaging i know people care about packaging i'm not a big parent i don't care i mean it's nice when it's nice but i everybody gets all nutty about it i could care less but it comes with that plastic top and then this foam insert blackout bill also enjoys his black coffee as i was mentioning before, I'm on a ketogenic diet. I'm also pairing that with intermittent fasting. So uh, intermittent fasting, I'm in my fasting window right now. Uh, I can drink black coffee, water, and I put apple cider vinegar in my water. That's basically what I, ha what I have when I'm fasting. And then my eating window is from, uh, currently it's uh, 5 p.m. to about nine. I'm doing a 20 hour fast, four hour eating window. That's Matthew in the, in the corner there, playing with my new stuff. Say hi, Matthew. Hi. <laughs> you guys can see it's obviously a one piece. They packaged it in a one piece carton. Oh, there's the cushion. <laughs> Around the edge there. First things first, it's a one piece I was talking about. I have a big old fat pickup truck. And I don't backpack, I don't hike. This is, this is for boat applications. Most trout rods are two pieces. Most rods are two pieces. If you're uh, a guy that's fishing from the shore and you, you want to count, carry it compact, they say you can go two pieces and get away with it. But a lot of the better fishermen, based on my YouTube research, uh, they like the one-piece rods because it helps them with the feeling of the bottom and all of the stuff that I'm not keenly aware of yet because, like I said, worst fisherman on the planet. Uh, so they all go with the one-piece if they can, but they use the two pieces, uh, you know, depending on, on how they're, they're traveling. So I tried to find a one piece that was in my budget. I was gonna get a two piece, and then finally I came across a one piece that was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it was worth it because I want I really did want the one piece. And you could and you could feel it, it's super light. So anyway, one piece, I went with the Pisifun, Piscifun, I don't know how to pronounce it, serpent. Okay? This is a one piece bait casting rod. It's got a foam split grip type back end here it's it's really light lighter than i thought it's a seven foot one inch medium heavy rod it says full action and then line weight 12 to 50 pound test so and then of course the lower weight one a quarter of it on the on the amazon when you search for these they'll send you one and then they'll give you a chart of what the rods do and their line and their lower capacities so when you, when you click on one, a lot of times the one you want is on the chart, but it's not the one that's on the ad. So I found on the chart the one I wanted, and then I went back to Amazon and searched for it. And this is what I wanted. I wanted seven foot, shh. 
I wanted six foot to seven foot. I wanted a medium heavy, and I wanted something that can have, handle a little heavier line with a little bit heavier of an ounce uh, bait because I want to drop the bait to the bottom and jig it with this rod. So this is what I got. So I found a one piece. This rod was $80. So I up paid for the rod and I down paid for the reel. But I did a lot of research and that casking for $40 seems like the best reel you can get for about 40 bucks. So I think pairing the cheaper but decent quality reel with this rod that's a little bit on the expensive side as far as I'm concerned. It's a really pretty rod. It's got some cool little green uh, metallic lines to add because I guess it's a serpent so it's like a green which will pair with my red reel awfully. So it's got a nice green. I wish I would have saw if there was a color choice. I'm not sure because it'd probably look awful with my red, my red rod, um, red reel, but it's okay. It's a, a nice looking rod and it should do everything I want. Uh, I wanted a, a longer rod that was medium heavy and I wanted it to handle about 20, 10 to 20 pound line. And I wanted it to handle a little bit more than an ounce, but up to an ounce, I can, I can put more. So anyway, this is the this is the brand again. This is past fun. Uh, I was torn between this and then they make uh, there's another brand, the Dawa Presso. Everyone's talking good about this Presso, but I can't find one in a one piece. I think they only make it in two piece, and I think the price of the rod is about the same. It's about eighty dollars. But those were all super light, ultra light, heavy, not heavy, ultra light rods, and they would been they, that would have been perfect if I was casting a lot. But I bought a bait caster uh, so I can jig more than cast, and then if I want to cast, I can but this is what I got. So I got this seven foot one Pasifun, Piscifun, maybe somebody can help me with that, Serpent. And here's the details on it. It's a one piece, sorry about the flash. I think it's not working in my favor here. One piece of IM7 carbon blank, Fuji line guides, golf style grips, golf style. Uh, strong and sensitive multi-layered. And uh, I, I hear they make good products. They make a cheaper rod that everyone was saying was breaking at the tip. So I went with this instead because, again, it matched my param uh, parameters and everything else. Guides are your typical guides. They're Fuji guides, but they're not the high-end rods where they bend. You know, they'll they'll break off if you bend them. But they feel they feel pretty sturdy and solid. Uh, the tip is, like I said, it's got a it's got a pretty stiffness to it. It's not as actiony as you would think. And then there should be some backbone to this. Uh, they they say you need a lot of backbone. Uh, when you're getting these deep lake trout. So this is what we're running with. I will show you the line and I will actually be using, the line I'm using will be braid on the cast reel and people, there's a lot of videos on how to spool the, the braid uh, by using a backing, by using a carbon uh, backing, all kinds of stuff. I don't plan on doing that. I'll show you what I plan on doing. I found another YouTuber who did a cool video on how he braid lo loads braid right to the spool, and then I'll be using a fluorocarbon leader. I think that'd be my best setup. And we'll show you that in a second. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is line the reel, which I've been uh, searching YouTube to find somebody who loaded up braided line without a backer. I don't wanna use a backer. I don't wanna use tape. I wanna use braided line that doesn't slip. I found somebody who does it. I'll put, his, I'll put a link to his channel. And what he did, I'm going to link the channel. You guys can follow it. I could not duplicate it for the life of me on video. So you'll see me play with this line for about five seconds, and then I'm going to cut it and go to the next section. So click the link in the upper right-hand corner that I provided earlier and check out how he ties his braided line. Just flip this tab, and that's the spool. So it's all spooled up, all braided line, no backing. I've already tested it a little bit. I've pulled it as tight as I can pull it with my hands. And it doesn't seem to be spinning with my hands. We'll see what happens once we get on the water. I'm just gonna pull a little out here, just like it looks like the knotted on the side there. That's it. That's all spooled up, and ready to go. Uh, the line itself is braided line. I'm running this Suffix 832 Advanced Super Line. It's 20 pound test braided line. And what I'll be doing is tying on a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And hopefully that will do what we need to catch that trout in Round Valley. Again, deep. Hey guys, I'm going to cut the video here. It got way too long, too quick. Please like 
if you like the video and subscribe, help me get to a thousand. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.